is that this majlis, not for cheap people that you're just watching like entertainment, but is an opportunity to come to show our love to Allah that we love Sayyidina Muhammad and that when you praise upon Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam bin Mu'minin Hu Ra'ufur Raheem when you praise upon Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam a light will open within your heart. A reality opens within the heart of the believer. That light and that love fiikum Allah describes that the light of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam fiikum is in you. Some ulama said, he's around you. But if light is in you and around you, it's all the same. Because the light and Nur al Mustafa, Abu Arwa, the light in which all souls are coming from that ocean, your soul doesn't come from Allah la sharika la. You don't go back to Allah and become shariq and breathe with Allah. You are from the ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah When you remember who you are and where you came from, then what brings this light and what brings this power, what brings faith and iman and everything is this Nur Muhammad within the heart of the believer. And that's why wherever only Allah go, and you remember back home is Mila the Nabi. Why Mila the Nabi? Why not all these courses on fiqh? Why not to become hifs of this and hifs of that? Because you're building a foundation based on what? Become a hafiz of Qur'an but you have no love for Sayyidina Muhammad there are intelligence people like that now. They memorized all the holy books. Our power, our blessings, our safety through this burning of the dunya is the ishq and love of Sayyidina Muhammad With that light, with that love, everything begins to open. The reality of Qur'an opens with Nur Muhammad within the heart of the believer. Otherwise everybody can read but Allah is not going to open anything. When Allah want to open is that Nur al-Mustafa is ishq and love has to be within the heart of the believer. And that's what he described to Sayyidina Umar, that your faith not complete until you love me more than you love yourself. So iman is to love Sayyidina Muhammad more than we love ourselves. So then iman is love and ishq and muhabbat for Sayyidina Muhammad Because we begin to learn this is the love that Allah wants us to have. This is the way Allah wants, don't come to me with La ilaha illallah. But come through the door and the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah means never leave your Imam. Never put Prophet onto the side and think that you're dealing with Allah Our safety, our strength, our protection, our blessing is all in these knots. We don't make it up. If you listen because your, your tongue is Urdu, not mine, you listen to the Urdu and they only are teaching us, they khuda nakuna. We have in Farsi, God forbid that I wake up one day, I think I became clever and I cut out, cut out the mentioning of Sayyidina Muhammad And there are groups now, they think only Qur'an and Prophet described the day will come where they won't mention my name on the member. We're entering into the jahiliyyah. We're entering into the time of Dajjal, you don't see the Dajjal movement? Put fear into people's hearts, you're gonna die, you're gonna die, take this. What did Prophet describe? When Dajjal comes upon this earth, he's going to offer you paradise, he's going to offer you safety, 
and know that it's Jahannam. And he's going to show you Jahannam and say, if you do this bid'ah it's, it's going to be punishment. You do this is Jahannam and know that it's paradise. So when Hezbo Shaitan say anything is a bid'ah and talk about anything that's from Jahannam, know that it's paradise. And when they talk about paradise, know that's a ticket to Jahannam. The Jal is on this earth. These are all the signs of what we see all around us. Dajjal will rule this earth by fear and people will be running to their death thinking the safety is with what they say. But hasbunallahu wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah There's no safety and there's no protection from Allah's anger. There's nobody who can give you any shot that will save you if Allah wants you dead. No, there's no mask going to save us. This is just tie the camel. Because we want to show ourselves, Ya Rabbi, uh, you're, you're our protector and our defender. So then what only Allah understood through all the wars and all the difficulties, not the first time this happening on earth, are in these salawats, in these nasheeds, in these uh, naht. In every language you'll find the same teaching of these only Allah. Is that with the ishq and muhabbat of Sayyidina Muhammad that when you love Prophet Prophet's hadith says that you'll be with whom you love. So who you want to love? A bunch of people you go to donut shop with and that's who you're going to be raised with on judgment day? No, you want to be with Sayyidina Muhammad I spend my day and night in my prayers and my nasheeds, my salawats, my character. I want to have the good character that when Sayyidina Muhammad looks at me that he'd be happy with me. And when you love somebody, Prophet's teaching is then you'll be with whom you love. So when we have this ish and we have these mafid and we have all of these associations, it's a sign and a showing to get the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem, your hisab is big with Allah I'm in difficulty, I'm in a sickness, my children are sick, my family is sick, my rizq is in danger. Ask Allah ask Allah for relief and you don't even have to ask because when Allah looks to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad He sees the ashiqeen. He sees the You be with whom you love and whom you love will be with you. You spend all your love and all your ishq for the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad You recite your nats, you recite the salawats, you do with all your love. You don't think that Prophet is accompanying you? You know the shaitan is with you. Who has more power? Prophet has more Shaitan's power is with Izzatullah, Izzat the Rasul, Izzat the Mu'mineen. He has to have authority from these three powers to be doing anything on this earth. So means then the, the Izzat of Sayyidina Muhammad much more powerful, not even something comprehensible. That's why these not these salawats, these associations open that love and, and begin the bringing of this ishq and the immense love of that reality. That's the immensity of these nuts and these associations. As soon as you enter into the association you have to know the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad is present. That Allah described the presence of Prophet khuluqul azim, how could you have the best of character? That Allah described you as azeem, that you're beyond imagination of your character. And a, a, a group of people, faqeer, are coming for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad You don't think Prophet is coming to attend? That let me come to my nation because I love them and everything within their hearts, Ya Rabbi grant them this, grant them this, grant them that. That's why these associations have immense power, immense power immense barakah because the ishq and the, 
the associations of ishq and muhabbat they don't need any intention. Your salah requires intention, qul amalu bin niyat but not the amal of ishq doesn't need an intention. And that's why the halaqahs and the hadith of the halaqahs of zikr that they're coming together and making halaqahs of zikr and the angels filling all the way up to the throne of Allah And at the end of the hadith they said, there's one sitting not even from them but there's no intention for love, it doesn't matter. That's a group that's gathering for love of Allah and love for Sayyidina Muhammad Allah dress them all with that love and that ishq. We pray that Allah by this love, by this ish, grant us more and more light, more protection against these days of difficulty, strength and iman and faith not to have fear. And when you have the love of Sayyidina Muhammad within your heart, within your being, you shouldn't feel fear. That Allah is with us, what to be scared of? When you have your companion, the one whom you love and your ishq is with the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad what Prophet described to Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq, don't fear Allah with us. When you have that love and that ishq, you feel the safety and tranquility of Allah because you know you're doing what Allah loves. That you're trying to keep the presence and the good character and the way of Sayyidina Muhammad. Inshallah. Click the link now to subscribe.